clone. Okay. So, I'll probably remember that last time we talked about um, adverbs. Yes. Grammar. And now we have yet another part of speech. Mm -mm. Pronouns. Alright. Pronouns. The pronouns. Just like I told you, they're parts of speech. Um. When you're going like, you're going like, hey, hey, what does this do? Because, like, nouns, hmm, nouns are persons, person, place, or thing, um, <clears throat> verbs is an action. And you do adjectives describe things, describe nouns, adverbs describe verbs, but what so what do pronouns do? Well here I'll tell you. Pronouns are a place older. They are a place. Yeah. <coughs> they are a placeholder for nouns. Now, usually nouns. I've heard them used. A first, a few times for verbs, mostly pronouns are used for nouns. You can see right here that they're pro nouns, not pro verbs or pro adjectives. Pro adverbs or whatever. Now, pronouns have a. Well, you're probably wondering what. Like, what? What do you, what do you mean a placeholder for nouns? Okay, I'll give you. Well, first, let me give you some examples of pronouns. Probably used the word he, she, they, I. We, it, etc. And these are all pronouns. These are all pronouns. Those aren't the only pronouns, but they are some of the most common pronouns. Now, now I'll show you what I mean by placeholder. So, um, we, um, I'm going to give you two sentences. One with a noun and one with a prop, okay? So the first one is, G. 
shot. Rock. Two. E. Park. Pretty simple sentence, right? Okay. You can see that we have a noun here, a jack. Jack is a noun. Jack is a person. He went to the park. Okay, now let's use another, that same sentence, but this time we're going to use a pronoun. He went. So, Jack went to the park, he went to the park. Same sentence, except this. Jack is a noun. This, he, is a Um, so, you can see now I mean by placeholder, he is taking the place of Jack. They both sound, they both sound right. He is just taking the place of Jack. Jack is he. He is Jack. Okay. Not use one other example. That's a simple sentence too. Uh, what did what did they do? What did these guys do? Uh, well, these guys cast a spell. Who cast a spell? Ron and Harry. What? Now, let's see if we can replace. Ron and Harry pronoun or um and so we could say he and he cast That doesn't sound right. He and he, if people don't say he and he. He and he, now all we use the word use, because we have another word for that. Another pronoun. We have they. They. Okay. 
has a spell that sounds much better than he and he. He and he cast a spell. No, he and he didn't cast a spell. They cast a spell. They, standing for Ron and Harry. And, well, they is the pronoun here. Ron and Harry are not. They is used when we have more than one noun. And here's another. I and we. Him, he is all the time. Whenever you need your name, you are talking about yourself. For example, if your name is, uh, if your name is Lila, then you don't say, uh, Lila ate dinner. Ask for some other Lila you're talking about. You say, I ate dinner. And, or it's the letter. Um, to say we, um, can say, um, you don't say, you don't say, this is especially when you have, like, a lot of people, you don't say, I and Sadie and um, George and Donald and Carrie and Mark and um, Tina went to the store. You say, we went to the store. Much shorter, much easier. And now, you might have, there are also, um, friends that go at the end of the sentence. Me, me, um, uh, us, them, her, him, you are always used at the beginning and end of their sentences. Okay. And there is one more thing. There is one more thing that I need tell you about and it's very important so um it is simply it is nouns First. Nouns first. Before pronouns. Okay. What do you mean? Um, and well, here. Here's, I'll give you a scenario. Say you're telling your friend a story. You're like, he did this, she did that, and they're like, who? So, you have to do the nouns first before the pronouns, otherwise you can do it. And that is all. Have a nice day. Bye.